You know, we've been on Twitter uh, for 10 years. 10 year anniversary of Twitter. Man, and we basically made Twitter the, the popular <laughs> social media site that it is today. Uh, so Danny, our social media guy, he printed out our first tweets that we ever sent. The tweets from the year 2009. Oh, All our tweets from the year 2009. And we're gonna, we're gonna read them. We haven't seen these. We're gonna read them now, cold, and we're gonna react to them. Yeah, are you these ready? are not gonna be good. This is gonna be a disaster. Okay, so my first our ever tweet. first ever tweet. This is Dan's first ever tweet. I am on Twitter. Whip de doo. That's actually not bad. Okay. It's my first. Mine says Preparing to blog Trade Center this Wednesday. I have my framed Gino Retta picture ready to go. Well, that was boring. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a witty one. Jay Meathead Onright mentioned my Twitter site on his last on his last night and now people are coming out of the woodwork. Meat meathead? Is that, is that what I used to call you? Me, hey, meathead. <laughs> Where are you, Archie Bunker? Here's my next one. Tim, our producer, is not happy with us. We pointed out a mistake at the top of the show. What are we supposed to do? Ignore it? That is still what Tim wants us yeah. to do. Tim, so, sorry. This could be a tweet from now. Tim, our producer, is now just producer Tim. Yeah, that's right. So at the time, he wasn't producer Tim yet. He hadn't become that famous. Ooh, another one about you. Ooh, and I am um, obsessed. <laughs> on right on two cans of Beaver Buzz is actually very funny. Picture a dog being let out for a pee after being in the house for a week. These are just <laughs> these are like borscht belt <laughs> jokes. We They're used to so drink corny. Beaver Buzz. It was a uh, Canadian energy drink. It's still around. I think it's still around. Um, we don't drink it anymore. No offense to Beaver Buzz. Here's my next one. John Liu just described some of Montreal's players as being there in body, but not in spirit. This is how I describe Dan every night. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, producer Tim says that still applies. That's pretty good. Yeah. Boy, these are very interesting how we approach Twitter. It's like we were we were trying stand-up comedy. Broadcast legend Jim. Oh, no, I put broadcast legend Tim Taddy. I spelled it wrong. It's Jim Taddy. <laughs> but you did. I said broadcast, broadcast legend, legend Tim Taddy. Tim Taddy works in the newsroom for the NHL Network. He just said yes guy. His classic saying. <laughs> What was wrong? <laughs> These are horrible. Dan is really upset about Chris Bosch's statement that he doesn't know how many people live in Peterborough. Confession. I don't either. <laughs> what? What were we doing? How did we even how are we even still broadcasters? The <laughs> This is amazing, by the way. This is amazing. Okay, ready for this one? The highlight of the night is from a game played in Canada. If you figure it out, you can have on rights pants after the show. Oh, God. <laughs> you were not funny back then. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, here it is. Live Twitter blog is on. Oh, we're combining a lot of things there. Live Twitter blog is on. Thanks to Sharpie for sending Dan and I each a box of personalized Sharpies. These are the perks of Canadian TV. We were using those Sharpies for 10 years. Yes. They, they just, just us, ran out they now. They just sent us some more. Holy, so every 10 years we get a box of new Sharpies from Sharpie. Uh, you ready for this? <laughs> Tim, our producer is making fun of Twitter. This from... <laughs> This from a man that wears swimming trunks in the shower. <laughs> what? <laughs> Were you Jackie Mason? <laughs> oh my God. By the way, Tim was making fun of Twitter and now he is obsessed with Twitter. Obs yes. No man. Open tweet deck now. <laughs> oh, here's mine. All our tweets are about each other. <laughs> or Tim. Dan is singing Fergalicious. So my job is now officially what I imagined hell would be like. <laughs> Boom! 
<laughs> oh, okay, this is a nice one. I show up at work today to a box of 500 Sharpies with my name on them. Thank you very much, Sharpie people. All right, that's not bad. You didn't try to say anything funny. <laughs> Stuck to uh, uh, one thing. That's what our bosses always <laughs> wanted us to do. And then got it. Okay, now this one's a two-parter, okay? Now, I think it's Brent Butt who said, if you start sending multiple tweets about the same subject, stop and walk away. <laughs> But uh, clearly I didn't get Brent's advice. So I say, Producer Tim isn't even working tonight, and he just phoned in from home to say we misspelled something. Wow. Somebody please go pick up Producer Tim from his house and take him to the local Boston pizza so he stops calling us. <laughs> what? What? Zinger. <laughs> what? I mean, that'd be a nice thing to do. <laughs> so. April 9th, 2009. Lindsay Lohan broke up with her girlfriend. Onright's gonna take her under his wing. That can't be good. <laughs> wow. How am I typing that and thinking like, um, nailed it. How are more and more people <laughs> following you? May 16th, 2009. Dan just texted to tell me he is off due to sore feelings. He is very sensitive. Producer Tim really wears him down. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what is this? A, what am I writing? A kid's book? <laughs> oh April 16th, 2009. I could sure go for a two day old egg sandwich. Luckily, there are some in the hallway outside the newsroom. That could be written yesterday right here, too. Yeah, that's a bit. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Here's May 18th, 2009. Producer Tim, you guys all... <laughs> Producer Tim, you guys usually talk shorter. Dan, I am always short. This is the comedy you are all missing behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, God. So bad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're getting worse. April 19th, 2009. Am I sending... Oh, no. That was three days later. Wonder if Onright will be back to work Monday. Funny, we haven't seen Jay or Maggie. What is TSN's policy on dating retiring monkeys anyway? Not bad. <laughs> Oh God. oh, God. They can't... Danny, you can't erase this stuff? <laughs> okay. May 28th, 2009. O'Toole says he is going to homeschool his daughter by reading her the paper every day. What more do you need, he asks. We're talking about each other. <laughs> That's all we do. <laughs> we had no friends. We Nobody else at TSN wanted to talk to us. <laughs> April 24, 2009. What do you do if your producer is talking to you about a subject and you don't want to talk to him? And his name is Tim. Me no English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. It's amazing. We're still Please employed. let it end. This is so bad. Okay, here's part one of a three-part <laughs> set of tweets. I sent three tweets about the same subject. Sometimes I think the internet killed sports journalism. Tonight I realized it just separates the journalists from the basement dwellers. Not that there's anything wrong with living in your parents' basement. I would be there in a second if they didn't live across the country. <laughs> Breaking news, I am moving into O'Toole's basement. <laughs> so that's a three-part tweet I sent. Because it used to be how many characters? On July 1, 2009. 140, yeah. Oh my God. May 4th, 2009. Back at work. I just passed Tom, the camera guy who hates Jay and I in the hall. 
<laughs> he still hates us. <laughs> he really did. That's yeah. again, that's, yeah. he still He's loves. still here and he yeah. still hates us. <laughs> July 25th, 2009. The CFL on TSN panel is a well-oiled machine. Literally. They are oiling each other up as we speak. They asked if I wanted in and I ran. That one wasn't bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> May 19th, 2009. The newsroom's currently sitting at a balmy 42 degrees Celsius. Onright has a Mayor Quimby ring of fire around his head. Oh. Yeah. Again, the temperature, you, that still applies to this day. I just realized I... That, that well-oiled machine was part one of another three-part <laughs> set of tweets. Okay, so it's, it's so part here's two. here's part two. It actually works this way anyway. Okay, seriously, the CFL on TSN panel is having a great time in the studio. Having fun at your job, that's what life is all about. <laughs> and here's part three. Do you know what else life is all about? Pancakes. What? <laughs> I, just, I just, I want to resign. And I know. I. June 1st, 2009. On right now, I are trying our first ever podcast tonight. What? Wow. Timestamp, June okay. 1st, 2009. So we've been doing the podcast for almost 10 years. Wow. And it's just getting huh. worse and, we and just, worse. And we just got our fifth listener. Wow. <laughs> Ten years. What is it? June 1st or July? June, June. June 1st, 2009. Look at that. On right, I'm trying our first ever podcast tonight. It's just a demo, but we hope to have the real thing on tsn.ca very soon. That's got, the tweet? <laughs> got one like. <laughs> <laughs> July 29th, 2009. Producer Tim has only been back for two days, and he and O'Toole are already not speaking to each other. Just like old times. <laughs> Again, that, that applies. Everything applies. To, all these tweets could be sent now. <laughs> a buddy from work, this is June 3rd, 2009. A buddy from work just got back from Vegas. He won 2600 at the poker table. I went to Vegas and had to sell my underwear to get home. <laughs> Sell your underwear? Who wants to buy me undies? <laughs> Who wants these used undies? <laughs> okay, here are my last two. This is, again, a two-parter. I seem to be into the multiple tweet thing. November the 29th, 2009. I don't even think we can get delicious Pilsner brand beer here in Ontario. Just another reason to open my Saskatchewan-themed bar here. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. My Saskatchewan-themed bar will be called the Duval Hotel, and it will have mixed drinks made with Vico and lots of bunny hugs for sale. Boy, that is deep inside a Saskatchewan that audience that probably didn't think it was that <laughs> great. It's pretty sad. July 1st, 2009. Dreger seems to have free agent frenzy under control. I can now go back to preparing my basement for on right to live in. Oh, a callback. Okay. We call, call basement back. again. Zero likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this can apply to today. August 12, 2009. I'm listening to people at work discuss bands. I think they're making names up because I have not heard of one of them. Yeah, that pretty much you could send that tonight. Tame Impala. You were like, who's that? I've never heard of that. <laughs> October 19th, 2009. Putting up Halloween decorations. I'm putting Onright's picture on a bunch of pumpkins. No one will be coming near our place. <laughs> <laughs> one like. <laughs> oh, man. This is somewhat depressing. I only have two left. Don't worry. November 29th, 2009. They just had a crowd shot of the Grey Cup, and one Ryder fan had a baseball glove. I think he got on the Pilsner train early. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And the last one. Oh, thank God. 
December 4th, and this is probably my best tweet. This has really affected me in a negative way. <laughs> December 4th, 2009. My Christmas lights look like I put them up with my teeth. Okay. That's the best one. All right, so you finished up strong <laughs> in 2009. Well, I'm glad we found out when we started the podcast. The tweets can only get better from here. That's why I don't tweet anymore. Yeah, because of this. That was embarrassing. Oh, that was a tough one to sit through. I feel like we, I feel like we were waterboarded. <laughs> can I say that? No. No. All right. Thanks oh, for. That was torturous. Thanks for watching. Thank you, everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry.